am I? Who was I? Who can I be tomorrow? On the road of life, life shines down. Why do I teach? I teach from curiosity. I teach from experiences. I'm not content doing the same thing over and over again, and I can't imagine anyone is. Couldn't stay still, I don't think that that's... It's like driving on the Autobahn. Uh, the world will pass you by rather quickly if you do so. Gosh, you gotta have a little fun to that work. That's part of my approach. I teach because I want my students to know that they have a voice. I teach because I want my students to care about their communities. Uh, one of the things that uh, I've loved to share, apart from passion for the past, is, is the love of music and all styles of music and, and pop culture in general. I think it's a way to, to really relate to students. So what do we do in the record club apart from Welcome everyone is play play a little vinyl. Well, this ready. And portable. So that's that's it. It's just sharing a little bit of who you are, and being just generally interested in sharing things that are important to you. I teach Whistler. I teach Hemingway. I teach because I wonder why the world is the way it is. I teach because I wonder why people do what they do. I suppose if I can make any sort of connections is if you have clubs like this or, or you can approach students at their own level, it really and immerse yourself into the school a little bit, but also I think it solves a lot of classroom management issues. Uh, you, the, the students will defend, hey, that's Mr. Real. You're, you're, don't give him a hard time. And, and I'm not saying that I'm using them, although maybe, uh, but it's the, one of the positive results of, of uh, sharing a little bit about you, a little bit about your hobbies or, or bringing the group together or creating a classroom where uh, students don't stand outside and peer in, but rather come in and, and can feel comfortable. This is where we do our work. I teach Dr. Livingston, I presume. I teach we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. One supervising teacher when I was a practicing teacher, well, he said, who do you think the two most important people are you, that you get to know when you go into a new school and that you need to really get along with? And my answer was the principal and the head of department, and he said, no, you need to know the custodian and, and the secretary. My father, who worked as a, a foreman in a, in a furniture factory, said, um, doesn't matter whether they clean the windows or install the lights or write the checks, they're, they're all people. And uh, the biggest thing you can do is, is you know, give them time. Time to talk, ask them about their kids, ask them. Uh, my interest in people is, is at all levels. So it's from the very first day, really, a genuine interest in the backgrounds of the students and getting to know their names and what they do in their free time. And, uh, if they look disconcerted, then take a moment and talk to them. Treat them like people, I guess, as individuals. And get to know as many as possible. But don't, don't, uh, don't overdo it, I think. Um, I guess there's nothing worse than a, than a parent or a teacher who's trying to be too cool and sort of say, hey, chillax. Just treat everyone the same, no matter if they're a student or, uh, or they're up pulling the weeds. 
I teach about humble heroes and civil rights. I teach about human frailty and human ingenuity. I teach perspectives. I teach exploration. So I grew up in Dayton, Ohio, and then I moved down to Dallas to go to college, and then over to DC, where I met my Foreign Service Officer husband. And um, he took me over here to South India and Chennai, and next stop, we're headed to Lusaka, Zambia. Um, I've been fortunate enough to have taught in Helsinki, uh, Prague, Dresden, uh, Germany, uh, Montreal for one year, and uh, Germany, Munich for 10 years, and now my first year at Washington. I teach because it's creative and personal and political. I teach because it can be exhilarating and because it can tie my stomach in knots. Hold on to the things that are important to you because that's what got you there. Be willing to change things that you know, always ask questions of yourself and be willing to change what you thought you believe and do it because you enjoy it not, not just because it's a it's a portable career and it seems to fit where you are do it because you enjoy it I teach from study I teach from intuition it's good to be a teacher in an international school because I can say I'm around people that are like me. Uh, I think that that's, that's one of the, the comforting things about you know, being in a school and being in an international school. Uh, it's what I've become anyway, whether I was always like I am now, I've grown into how I am and uh, I'm, I'm happy with where I am and what I do. Why do I teach? Teaching's not just a job, it's my way of being. So say goodbye to aches and cries And say hello to loving all your blues away Objection, leading question. Is this on the test? <laughs> <laughs>